Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day um, God has made, um, but I hope you guys have had a great week, and I hope you guys enjoyed your Father's Day with your, with your dads, and um, I know that you guys all encouraged your daddies because you guys were awesome. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start out with a word of prayer. God, thank you so much for being our rock. Thank you for being our salvation. Thank you for being the God that um, comes alongside us in everything that we do, God. Um, you are so amazing. Thank you so much for loving us, and it's in your son's name I pray. Amen. All right, this is how we read God's Word. Read God's Word. Read God's Word. This is how we read God's Word. It's Bible story time. Oh, guys, look who's here with us. Bodie! Bodie, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Bodie? <gasps> there he is. <laughs> He's going to be hanging out, so if you see him. Anyways, so today we are going to be learning about a guy named Jonah. And um, you may have heard about him, but he was told to do something. God told him to do something and he said no. <gasps> uh, you know what happens when we tell God no. He has to remind us that he always has a great plan for our lives. Right guys? All right. So this is called Jonah learns to obey. So you know what I love about the Bible is that Everybody can learn from it. Uh, you can learn from it. I can learn from it. Our grandmas and grandpas. It doesn't matter how old you are. We can all learn from God's word. And we all have to learn to obey. <laughs> yes, you're not the only one. I do too. Jonah had to learn too. And you can find this in your book, The Bible. Um, in Jonah 1 through 3. If you want to read that with your mommies and daddies or your brother or sister, um, it's really interesting because it has God's um, creation in it as well. Um, there's a fish in it, there's ocean, um, you know, it's a really good story. So I encourage you to, to look more into the Bible and learn more about Jonah because it's a great story. All right, well this says, God sent a big storm Jonah was on the boat in a storm. God had told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Jonah did not want to go. So he ran away, guys. Yes, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and he ran away. He did not go to Nineveh. The other people on the boat were afraid. Jonah said, I'm running away from God. If you throw me into the water, God will stop the storm. Okay, so we already know how powerful God is. We know how Jesus, remember he said stop and the water stopped? Well, so I think Jonah knew who God was and how powerful he was. But because look at, those are some big waves. But Jonah said, if you guys throw me out of this boat, I tell you the truth, the waves are going to stop. Hmm, let's go see what happens. The men threw Jonah into the water. The storm stopped. Then God sent a big fish. Look at this big fish. It looks like a whale, but they call it a fish. God told the fish to swallow Jonah. That would be scary to get swallowed by a fish. The big fish swallowed Jonah. Jonah was in the fish for a long time. Okay, if I got swallowed by a fish, I think I would die. But Jonah didn't die. Isn't that a miracle? There in the fish, Jonah prayed to God. He told God he was sorry. I wonder what he was saying sorry for. I think he was saying sorry for not going to Nineveh. Do you think? I don't know. Let's find out. He asked God to forgive him. Aww. Then God told the fish, let Jonah go. Okay, is that cool or what? God talks to the fish? That is so cool. The fish obeyed God. Okay, do you guys hear that? So not only you or me have to obey God, but the fish do too? 
<laughs> that is incredible. It threw Jonah out on the land. Then God told Jonah to go to Nineveh again. See, God wanted all people to know about him. And so he wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh to talk about him and talk about how much God loved the people of Nineveh. But I think Jonah was afraid and that's why he didn't go. So God loves Jonah so much and he loved the people of Nineveh that he had Jonah thrown out in the water, swallowed by a fish so that Jonah could think, think, think about what he was afraid of. So Jonah, look at him. He's walking on the water and there's the fish saying goodbye. So guess what Jonah did? He went and told the people of Nineveh about God. <clears throat> Okay, so sometimes things happen where maybe your mom or dad tell you, Andrea, you need to go clean your room. And I'm like, ugh, I don't want to. <laughs> Do you ever feel that way? But then your parents are like, uh, you need to go do that because it pleases God and it pleases me that you go clean your room and you have to think about it. Maybe they say, you know, maybe go sit on your bed and think about it. Okay, I've had that done to me, where God's like, Andrea, just go sit and think about it. And then I think about it and I think, wow, God loves me so much, he wants me to obey. And so I think that's what happened with Jonah, is that God had him get swallowed by a fish so he can think about how much God needed Jonah to help the people of Nineveh. So. Jonah ended up obeying God. Isn't that cool that he humbled himself and he got swallowed by a fish and that he went to go and listen to God. And he ended up getting to tell all the people of Nineveh how amazing God is because he really is. He loves us so much. He wants so much for us. So I have a question. Why did Jonah run away from God? Okay, so we know that Jonah was told by God to go to Nineveh to tell the people of Nineveh about God. So he ran away, I think, because maybe the people of Nineveh weren't very nice. What do you think? I don't know. If I was to run away from somebody, it was probably because I would be afraid of them. So maybe he was afraid to go talk to the people about Nineveh. Or about <laughs> He was afraid to tell the people of Nineveh about God. Where did God find him? Well, he found him on a boat, and then he found him in the water, right, guys? And so God saved N Jonah, had him get swallowed by a fish, and did he die in the fish? No, he didn't die in the fish. Isn't that a miracle? Can you imagine? How did he see? I wonder how Jonah saw in the, in the fish. Well, it says that Jonah prayed. And so I think about that, and I think, wow, when I'm feeling sad or when I'm feeling... Um, scared, you know, sometimes it's not my first instinct to go pray, but it needs to be, guys, right? It needs to be your first instinct that when I'm afraid, like maybe when you go to bed at night and you're like, you turn off the light and you're like, oh my gosh, maybe there's somebody in my closet, but there really isn't. All we need to do is pray. When you're at school, someday when, you know, summer's over and you're going back to school and you think, Oh man, maybe that girl or maybe that person didn't like me at school. You can think, I'm just going to pray. Yeah, we can pray to God about anything. Or maybe, hmm, maybe if you're trying to learn how to ride a bike and you're thinking, I don't know if I can. You can pray for God to give you strength. And you know what also? You can pray for God to give you a humble heart so that you can ask your mommies, mommies and daddies for help and they can help you ride the bike. So there's a lot of things that we can talk to God about, guys, and he wants to hear every single word. God does. He wants to hear about how much you need him and how much you love him. And that's what happened with Jonah. Jonah ran away from God, but God so loved him that he 
got him swallowed by a fish. Now, hopefully it doesn't take us to get swallowed by a fish to get us to listen to God, but um, that's what Jonah had to go through. And so it's really important, guys, that no matter what we're going through, that we always go to God, that we always talk to God about how we're doing and how we're feeling because he, he wants to know. He wants to know what's on our hearts. And you know, the thing is, is that when Jonah did obey, he went and talked to the people of Nineveh, they were able to hear. They were, they were able to hear about how much God loves them. So I hope you guys enjoyed our story. And there's a song that it goes like this. It goes like this. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Yeah, trust and obey. That's all we got to do, guys. It's, it can be hard sometimes, but I know you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Anyways, guys, I love you. Let's close out with a word of prayer. That flies, those flies, guys. Remember that song, the shoe fly song? Anyways, let's pray. God, we love you so much. Thank you so much that you're always willing to hear our voice, that you're always willing to hear our cry to you. I pray that we all would learn to trust and obey you, that when you ask us to do something, that we would be willing to go and to spread your word and how loving you are so that every person on this earth would know you and love you for the rest of their lives. We are so thankful for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. Have a great week.